Perplexing Pixels. That was Patreon content. Yes. I promised you a nine foot tall vampire lady. You did? Yes, I did. Last week. I'm kind and of I'm, engaged the one. And I'm here. She's not nine feet tall. She's close. And I'm here to deliver that content here in Resident Evil Village, which is also Resident Evil 8. <laughs> you played 7 in VR. That happened. Go watch it. Wait, so I need two hands to display the number. Yes, you do. They've made a lot of these games. Yes. Yeah, so this is 8. This is a sequel to 7 in the actual story here. So it is a canonical sequel to the last game. The same main character and everything. What you want to see here is the tall lady. So right. we're going to load up here into Castle Dimitrescu. So I'm going to hand you this. I'm going to say you are Mr. Ethan Winters. Hit, hit the A button. You are here in the game, in this castle. Very Resident Evil-ish type vibes going on. He doesn't move. You've got to use the controller and move the camera with the right stick like every other game that oh, uses so a camera. I can't camera. jump over the table? No. This game definitely has no jump button. A thousand percent. Look, play the game. No. This is what we're here to do. How do you have the a whole... guy walk around a screen that can't jump? It's a scary game. You're even I'm... Even I can jump. Well, look to your right here, and perhaps that'll seem familiar. I'm trying to say that's me. Yes, I am. You can't shoot him. He's the shopkeeper. Turn to your left. Don't, you hate reading. Don't I hit do. the A button oh, on that. I, I don't know. I thought these are the things I'm supposed to do. It's a very fancy typewriter, I understand. Yes, you shot the typewriter. Good lovely job. Weapon. A lovely weapon, sir. He's very excited for you. <laughs> well, then what am I supposed to be doing in Walk here? Walk out of the door. This right way? there. The door. Yes. Why can't you just put me through the door already? Here we are. I'm going to put you through a <laughs> door. How about that? Castle Dimitrescu. Castlevania. And you'll be, be, be meeting Lady Dimitrescu. Yo, this is like sexy. This is a horror game. So like you come walking in here and you're uh -huh. all scared. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden here. Da -da 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 oh, there she is. Where? Somewhere. I hear her. I there ran. she is. Oh, right, sh right there. Nine feet tall. <gasps> and, a handful of, and a handful of razors too. Also, she's invincible. Oh. You can't kill her. So then what the f The whole point of the game, well, in this part of the game, is to, like, avoid her while she is trying to stalk you and kill you. She wants yeah, your man flesh. Yeah, we do. Have his instead. Yeah, that's, that's not a person. That's a... Uh-oh. So, you are playing on casual, which is the <laughs> easiest po possible difficulty. So then I should have with her. That's not going to happen. Why not? That's not how the game works. That door is locked. So, what you're supposed to be doing right now is A, not dying, but B, there's usually a map. There's the map. And so you gotta find different areas to head into and get different items to open up doors. It's Resident Evil. It's a horror game. So boring. There's tension involved in them hunting you. It's so boring. And... Alright, so let's play something else. No, we're not. I... I loaded up the different save files while she is currently like, I'm leaving, lady. <laughs> Whoa. Fix your hat. I'm not as kind as my daughters. Whoa. Yeah, so her daughters are made of bugs, and they, they also want to murder you and it tastes your blood. Oh, cool. And whatnot, so here's a mine. Oh, that didn't work. Is that all? Yeah. That's all I got. Why so she's the first major boss fight. In the game. Okay, and then you can actually kill her. Yes. But right now you can't. No. But eh. but eh. but as you can see, she is nine feet tall. That being said, uh, I have a save point at the boss fight. Ooh, so, exciting! See, she got it right there. Now give me this. Ooh, bring it. Yeah, bring it. Break stuff. Chop. Lady. In there. I'm busy. All right. Whoa! Now it's snowing. Oh yeah, we're in the outside now. This, that's. I hate when they make you play inside and it's the all castle. dark and you can't see. Like, why would you make a game where you can't see? It's a horror game. You're supposed to be scared. That should be like Mario and be bright. Do, 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 do. I was now. scared. Mario's the most terrifying thing. We all grew up with anxiety because of well, that yeah. music. Uh -huh. When you were going after Bowser. Mm -hmm. I need the knife here. It's a magical, mystical knife. It looks that like can, it's in somebody's chest. That can haunt. Well, yeah. I opened the coffin and she's mad. Uh-oh. Oh, sh I'm gonna stab you back. 
Seen it like that. Clearly. We. Whoa. The knife. No, not the knife. Uh oh. Guess what? Trying to throw you out of there. She's kind of a monster, besides being nine feet tall. What? I did what now? Oh no. Oh hi. Whoa. How oh, you doing? Stranger Things all of a sudden? Is that her? Yes, that's her. This is how Resident Evil operates. They all end up being a bioweapon. This is Resident Evil? Yeah. Eight. Oh. Ooh. Is it gonna oof? Yep. Why not just throw him off the cliff? Well, she wants the man flesh, and I'm here to d deliver the man flesh. I know what that's like. So. <laughs> I do that daily. Hey, hi. Is this the boss fight? Yes, the boss fight. Into here, and then give me all this. Give me all this. Give me all the ammo. Yes, give me all this. I say, hey, lady. Work. Oh, oh, hi. Hello. I will destroy you. I'm gonna hide in here. I'm gonna hide in here. You're a lucky man, Ethan. Lady! Nice lady! Shoot her in her? Uh, I gotta shoot her and not the actual creature. Oh. <laughs> now she'll go fly. Do I need this here? Uh, there you go. Whee! Whoa. He's not dead. <laughs> Whoa! So, yes, it is a big epic boss fight encounter, and then it's alright, I can shoot her. You human pest! And she's just trying to straight up eat you? Yes. Just because she eats people? Uh-huh. I like how the, the animal reacts when she gets yeah. shot. Yeah. I mean, it's part of her, so... Oh. It's a big mutant thing. And now it goes to the next part of this fight. When you kept on saying in the beginning, it's just like Resident Evil. Yeah. I thought you were saying, like, it's a copycat of Resident Evil. No, this is Resident Evil. This is the, the this new is one. actually it. Yes. Whoa. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. And that should do it. <laughs> Damn you! So she was in a lot of the pre-release coverage of okay. this game, but only actually in the game for about an hour and a half. <laughs> so... <laughs> kind, of, kind of sounds like every popular movie ever. Yeah. They're like, here's the big thing! And everyone got... They're excited. Like, oh wait, she's actually in like the first hour and she's gone. Like when you go to watch uh, Godzilla, and Godzilla's in, only in the last four minutes of the movie. Yeah. All his, all his like, action guy one-liners are all the worst. Like, he is, he is the worst main character in the world. So we're here in the village. Right. And basically, people are being turned into werewolves. Yeah, me too. That's, that's this game. There's a lot of, like, the old games, a lot of zombies. This game, a lot of werewolves. So. So you walk around and shoot werewolves. The house with the red chimney is right there. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you open the map and go, oh, how do I get there? Because this is a, that, that's, that's this kind of game. Oh, it's a maze. Yeah, a little bit. Even though it's right in front of you, you can't just jump over no, something. No, you can't. You can't just go, oh, hey, a fence. I'm going to go over the fence. Like no, a normal you, human. You can't, no. We're going to make the most realistic game ever where the humans can't jump and can't figure out how to get over a fence. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's going to be so realistic, guys. And doors are locked. You can't open them. Like, you have a shotgun. Just shoot the door. Yeah, yeah, you have a shotgun. It's super realistic, guys. When you shoot the door with the shotgun, nothing happens. Mm hmm And then we're gonna unlock the door. Like that. You unlocked it. Now we're in the backyard. Now there's a porta potty. Anybody here? Nope. Say, all right, I'm gonna move this like that. And then... Hey, hi! You're dead. Go that way. Ooh, exciting. Yes. Here we go. Going to fight the werewolves. So you do you, you don't have that guy that's just a dead guy. That needs a crank. You don't have a crank yet. You gotta crank it, I know. To the do not enter. Yeah, let's go to the do not enter. Uh-huh. But that's where the lock's stuck. It's saying don't enter, now shoot the lock. Shoot the lock. Hold left trigger to point at the lock. And then shoot it. Good job. You did it. Congrats. Now see in that see see how there are numbers here on the thing? Is it eight and a seven? Mm -hmm. 
So if you, if you go in the house and look out the window, you'll see what the, what the right numbers are, and then you can open the lock. So it's 07 something something 08. But you can't see it from the, in, the outside. You gotta go in the house. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Well, you go in the house, right? And see, it's there's an 04 there. So you see, all right. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, cool. 07, 04, 08. And then a jump scare happens because, you know, it's a horror game. And that gives us a new gun. Aha. Uh -huh. And a crank. The jack handle. Now you get to go jack handle that guy? Yes, let's go jack that off. And then they're here to fight me. Your head exploded. Is there more than one? Oh, there's a lot more than one. Okay. Oh. That's a problem. You guys just wanted to play. Seems like they go down with one shot. You're on casual, so yes. Oh. Is that it? We done? I think we did it. And then guess what? We put the jack in the jack handle and raise and then crawl. Oh my god, I thought we were gonna drive it away. No. And then a jump scare to almost fall on you. Wasn't a good jump scare. Yeah, I know. I know. I just thought some guy was coming. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll say, having been playing this on the PC for the past, like, two weeks, mm -hmm. playing with a, a mouse and keyboard is way easier than playing with a controller. Really? Because the mouse is way more accurate than just having to move an analog stick. <laughs> but, goat heads, what's over here, which is a problem, is this guy. Oh, no. Who's covered in metal. Oh, cool. Which makes things way harder to kill him. <laughs> and he's very angry. So, in that case, you gotta go, alright, I have the a... The spinning in this game, I swear to God, is gonna make me throw up. I have a pipe bomb here. Pipe bomb! Like, I literally can't look at CM it. CM Punk style. He's still Hold alive. Up, down, left, right, spinning pipe around. Pipe bomb! You know why? That's why I like when I can see my character. Yes. Alright, you have one last thing to look at here. We're oh almost God, done. I'm gonna vomit. You're gonna see what I think is one of the legit scariest things in this game. Brace yourself for the doll workshop. I knew it. I knew my ex-wife was in it. When you said the scariest <laughs> thing, I knew it. <laughs> okay. I'll go slower here with the camera for you. Oh, thank God. So here's the doll workshop. And we're going to cut off this thing here. Oh, boy. Because there is a thing in her chest that, that we need. Oh, boy. We're going to grab this. We're going to examine Got the brass medallion. And, oh no, the power's going out. The plot of this game mm -hmm. is that uh, the girl that you, the, uh, the girl that you rescued from the last game, obviously you were you were that was your wife, mm -hmm. and you escaped from that, from the mole people, right. and you, you had a kid, and that kid got kidnapped now. So this game is saving your daughter Rose, but also they shot your wife. How dare they? But those. Spoiler is that it's more complex than that. Ooh. So. Because there's twists and turns. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Plenty of twists and turns. All right. So we put in the brass medallion into the door, mm -hmm. and it solves the door puzzle. Yay. Now we can go down to this. Because this is exactly uh -huh. what I would do. Go down this deep, dark hole. We have to. We don't have a choice in the matter. This is the next part of the, Like, this whole section of the game, mm -hmm. no guns. Nothing. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. There's no enemies up until this part of the... Well, you'll see. There's the creepy crib. <laughs> Just rocking. Just rocking. A wet cell. Head down this well. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. We're sending our love down the well. We're sending our love down the well. All the way down. No, no. Dig up, stupid. <laughs> Dig up, stupid. Uh, breaker box key. Good to have. <laughs> and then back up the ladder. Can you hear things are happening up there? Yes. So we'll turn it up here for you. Uh oh, the baby's back. Mm -hmm. That is horror. horrific. When the baby wakes up in mm -hmm. the middle of the night, horrific. Wow, this is scary. All right, so what else we got? You'll see. Oh, that wasn't the scary part? No. You said it was the scariest thing we ever going to see. I thought it was the baby screaming in the middle of the night. Well, that's part of it. Are we going back up the stairs we yes. came down? We have the key now to open up the breaker box to turn on back on the power. So we went all the way down in all that deep, dark scariness and nothing bad even happened. Bro. What a waste. 
powers out. The doll's gone. Ooh, that's scary. There's blood everywhere. Right, because the dolls bleed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And a giant umbilical cord <laughs> down the hallway. Oh my god, that's stupid. Uh, hi. Ew. Giant mutant baby thing. Hi. Ew. You can't fight it. You can only run away. That's so gross. Uh huh. And it just goes da 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 da, and it chases you. And if it catches you, Ew. it eats you. Oh, cool. Let it let it let it let us eat. So yeah, that's the end of our video here. Is oh, I couldn't run fast enough. Oh no, the baby got me. Oh, feet first. Oh, hilarious. Into the mouth. Ew. Yummy. You died. You are dead. You are dead. And that is Resident Evil Village on the Xbox Series X. What'd you think? Terrible. I like it a lot. Looks cool. I think it's good. But I've never but played this, ever. I'm also kind of mad. I'm, I, I can't play it in VR. I want that in VR. That's horrifying. Yeah. Give me that. That would be cool in VR. So. It I'm, looks cool. Yeah. But I would never want to play it. All right. How many? Zero. All right. There we go. So, last couple of weeks, we've been doing a lot of shooting. We need to get back to the racing and the wrestling. Outriders, and then Returnal, and then this. A lot of shooting. Next week, shooting of a camera of Pokemon. We're playing a new Pokemon Snap next week. Next week, we can get back to the racing <laughs> and the uh -huh. wrestling uh -huh. and the shooting as we race around in the NASCAR shooting wrestlers. You solved it. You solved the puzzle. Can we make that game? I mean... Racing around in race cars, shooting wrestlers? Nintendo's putting out a game in June called Garage Games. And it's a game where you make your own games. So, we'll see. There we go. We're Anyhow. Around and find out. We'll see you then, right here. Sub to me, sub to him. And we're out.